All right, Federated Auto Parts, the NASCAR event at Richmond. Some 20 hours left before the window for entry closes. Uh, by the time this video gets uploaded, uh, the chances are it's probably down to just a handful of hours, if that. But uh, at least if you catch it before and if you had kind of forgotten about it, this would be a, a little reminder. Um, if you want it and for this my third account I already own uh, Stu Haas Ford Mustang and uh, I've gone through this event in uh, Joe Gibbs and Team Penske already so of course I have the video for Team Penske uploaded on my channel so for this one let's go with Matt Kenseth of Chip Ganassi Racing and uh well you know what what it is once you start the event you actually have five days to complete it though since they offer you that three hour instant uh service and instant r d on tunings you know offer to last first three hours and you can actually complete the entire event within three hours as long as you can afford the tuning so uh you know the drill for this one, if you're running without any driver level up or team principal level up, uh, you need every uh, tuning available for this tuning setup, all 28, which will cost you 2,080,600 motorsport dollars. So um, yeah, hopefully you can afford it um, because otherwise, uh, I suppose if you can afford partial tunings uh, and if you're more concerned about gold uh, there's obviously gold rewards to be won by completing this event on odd number stages uh, stage one stage three stage five so stage one does not even have any PR requirement at all so that is free five gold and you get to test out uh, you know test drive uh, one of the NASCARs that, uh, you know, if you're interested. And there are only three goals, a third of which you can actually skip for free. So you, I mean, that's a really easy, quick five gold pickup. So my guess is I think it might take even less time than watching five ads. So... Yes, don't dismiss any opportunity to pick up free gold is what I would say. And if you want to pick up additional 10 gold, which is available at the end of uh, stage 3, um, then you would have to bring your PR up to 47.3. So by that point, you're spending... Um, I know you're, you're investing a bit of gold, uh, motorsport dollars, which is not difficult to earn, but um, they do put a cap on how much you can earn in a day. So 250,000 that is. And if you're, let's say, more interested in pursuing Formula One cars, for example, then uh, those are expensive cars. But once again, motorsport dollars strictly. So... If you're more focused on that side of the game, then uh, perhaps, you know, just picking up five free gold is uh, more beneficial. But, uh, of course, I am going for the going all the way here. So, yeah, across the three accounts that I manage, this is the last of the three. So this is the car number six of... Uh, seven available for 2020 season so at least i get i you know idea is maybe i get a better feel for how each car drive um so the one that i'm missing still in my garage across all three accounts is uh richard petty um for at least 2020 season somehow that car fell uh fell off to the wayside um Really, no particular reason. I mean, it just kind of happened that way. I picked up Hendrick Motorsports uh, on my other account for Daytona just because that car has the highest top speed out of all seven teams. 
So that, you know, I feel like is a card that uh, if you're planning on doing anything with NASCAR, it might be a good card to have in your garage, in your arsenal, um, for essentially Daytona where you just go full on, uh, even as I am uh, playing a bit of a snow plow here, almost, like knocking opponents off track as I plow through. That of course is not, uh, that's gonna slow me down and probably will affect my uh, end result, but uh, hey, gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, I just wanna get through, and I know uh, I will be able to get through, uh, even as I am making these videos with the replay uh, screen to go with. So, like, actual race time for me for this particular run, it's gonna not exactly double but I'll be spending some extra time through the event uh, just so I can have the replay video uh, to go along with the main play because it's kind of fun to see especially the limp view that's available for NASCAR I think is pretty cool I wish they made that available for other parts of the game as well but uh, I mean, that can't be a copyright issue or licensing issue Come on, just having a aerial view that's permanently viewable. But uh, no, that is not going to be the case, at least as of all these years. Their emphasis isn't terribly um, focused on the, I guess, replay side of the game, which is, I suppose, okay. I do enjoy replays, though. They're kind of fun to watch. Um, anyway... So yeah, speaking of the, you know, like while we're uh, playing through this uh, event, um, Hendrick Motorsports, as I said, the Chevy Camaro has the highest top speed. It does lack in the grip department. And this car, uh, Chip Ganassi Racing Camaro, has the actually the lowest grip out of the entire seven team roster that we got for 2020 season uh, the stock um, grip is 1.08 G but I don't really know if it will make that big of a difference you know whether it's gonna have a, a noticeable impact in the gameplay um, that is to be seen so I mean we're gonna be I mean the Stage one obviously is all entirely at Daytona, so we don't really. I feel like we're not really gonna notice much, because um, all seven teams, the grip is gonna be enough to get us to get through the, you know, speedway, full throttle all the way. You know, no braking necessary for these cars. So, yeah. So the, that's not gonna be. Uh, really good testing ground here but once we go on to stage two on when we are racing at Richmond where we actually have to break a little bit where you cannot just go you know full throttle all the time then perhaps we'll see if uh, the higher grip or higher grip lack of grip the lowest grip on this particular Camaro out of all seven teams featured in Real Racing 3 will actually have a noticeable impact, as I was saying. With that being said, in other specs, uh, braking distance has, this is, along with uh, Richard Petty, has the strongest braking distance, 97 feet. Um, now, between Richard Petty uh, Motorsports Chevy Camaro and Chip Ganassi Racing Chevy Camaro, the difference is going to be really uh, the acceleration is going to be a little bit quicker on Chip Ganassi by like two hundredths of a second but the uh, grip is going to be better on Richard Petty but the top speed also is going to be higher on Chip Ganassi so I feel like uh, this car is a little bit better suited for once again Daytona than uh, let's say um, Richmond, but I know this event is at Richmond, 
but for this account, I already uh, have a Stu Hass um, Mustang, which is really good. I think that would be a better car for Richmond than this one, because of course Stu Hass has the highest grip of 1.11G. Um, so yeah, that's um, you know, that's a good contender. So once I complete this, I you know probably will swap out the tuning setup. So give Chip Ganassi Racing uh, Daytona tuning setup and uh, swap out Stu Hass um, Mustang tuning setup. Currently on this account, I have the Daytona setup because it's the one that I won, obviously from the first uh, NASCAR event in last version. So I'll probably swap out that car's tuning setup with the, the Richmond setup. So they would be, you know, better suited for different tracks. Since I feel like that is the whole point behind this all different tuning setup that we got going in motorsports in the recent version of the game. Anyway, here is the last goal, which you can skip for free. Uh, I think why the reason why they did it was because uh, if you finish. 20th, I don't think they, it still fails you, so they just figured like, well, you know, you completed it, you know, you met the goal, but the game, you didn't program it right, so it failed you, so they just simply altered, you know, gave you, gave us the skipping option for free, but uh, as I, as it turns out, when I ran through it on my other accounts, uh, if you win, like, P1, which is quite doable, um, especially if you're running with all the tuning setups that you're gonna need anyway for winning this uh, entire event, then uh, yeah, P1 is quite doable, so, and when you do that, when you win the race outright, then uh, you pass, so I figure I'll go that route instead, since that way uh, we get to earn some extra, I mean it's 5 lapper at the uh, uh, Daytona. So by winning in P1, obviously, we do get some decent amount of um, driver XP as well as the, you know, the motorsport dollars earning that uh, we can put towards today's cap of 250,000, which if you complete all five stages, all 20 goals available, I want to say, uh, then um, you should be maxing out 250 motorsport dollars available for the day and if you like rank higher than the bare minimum that they ask you to get then um, you most likely will end up with uh, over 250,000 but if you do just bare minimum the chances are you probably won't even win 250,000 so as I was saying you can run through all the entirety of the event in one sitting within three hours while instant service and all that instant business is available it just makes it a little bit you know quicker actually quite a bit quicker if you just run through it since you know service is out of the question which is always nice so anyway uh, yeah, and then once this event entry for this event closes uh, sometime today when this video gets uploaded, the next Formula One event the, does open, and that's the Yas Marina uh, UAE Grand Prix. So um, we'll have a separate video uh, uploaded later on for that event where I will cover the, you know, the tunings that you're going to need to meet the PR requirement, how much it's going to cost, um, and so on and so forth, along with the actual playthrough of the Grand Prix event. So, yeah. Uh, is that the only Grand Prix event we have in this version? I can't remember. No, we haven't had... That, that's the first one that we have so what uh, what's the next one um 
I'll have to, uh, well, it's not the first one anyway, so it doesn't really matter <laughs> when we come across. I guess if you are curious, you can always look in your game and you'll see it. Um, it's going to be, I'd assume, either Circuit of the Americas. We've already done... Um, let's see. Yeah, what have we not done? Oh, Catalonia. I think that's the next one, right? Yeah, after Yas Marina, I think we get Catalonia. Okay, so there. <laughs> I think uh, I should double check before I tell you that's what we have. Um, I'm pretty certain that is the one, but, uh, you know, it's not, won't be the first time I get an information wrong, but I, um, if I can help it, I'd like to correct myself. Right. So, uh, anyway, let's see, we have, let's look on the update. Let's see, Formula One. Come on, 2020 Grand Prix. And the event number six, of course, is Yas Marina. And yes, event number seven, which is gonna be in like 24 days at this point, uh, is gonna be the Spanish Barcelona, right? So. So those are the two uh, Formula One events that we have in this version. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. There it is, five free gold. Uh, and I guess you also get to pick up some free motorsport dollars as well if you just want to run through first stage. Um, so, all right, so that will do it for this video. Um, so stay tuned for the, I guess I'll run through the remaining stages on this account as well with the Chip Ganassi. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and we'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care.